Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about how the US government may be set to use Hedera. So on the 11th of April, the HBAR Foundation tweeted details in regards to the HBAR Foundation joining the Blockchain Association. So the Blockchain Association is an American-based organization that is pushing for the implementation of blockchain and DLT into a number of industries within the US and also pushing for the implementation of DLT into governmental bodies within the US. So the HBAR Foundation has been unanimously voted into joining the group where the HBAR Foundation will contribute into providing insights into how blockchain and DLT could be implemented into public policy decisions made in the US. So the Blockchain Association is a team of industry leaders educating American lawmakers and, and advocating for more transparent policy making in our industry. This team has developed an extensive network of connections across the federal government including within Congress, the White House and regulators. So the Blockchain Association's ultimate goal of providing insights into how blockchain and DLT DLT could be implemented into a number of industries and as, as well as US governmental bodies is coupled with the White House set to roll out a regulation across the wider crypto market. So the Blockchain Association's direct affiliation with governmental bodies within the US could lead to the group playing a key role in regards to how regulation could be rolled out to the wider crypto market and this could have reverberating effects especially for the HBAR Foundation as the HBAR Foundation's direct affiliation with the Blockchain Association could lead to the HBAR Foundation also playing a key role in decisions made by the US government and other governmental bodies in regards to how regulation could be implemented. So the Blockchain Association and in extension the HBAR Foundation could play a significant role in regards to how crypto could be regulated across the wider US market. So as well as the HBAR Foundation being affiliated with the Blockchain Association, Hedera is also working alongside policymakers within the US in regards to how Hedera could adhere to uh, regulatory positions put forward by lawmakers in the US. So the following clip features Mance Harmon, where he goes into details in regards to how Hedera is in direct conversations with policymakers in the US. So we have both direct and indirect contact with a wide range of regulators and policymakers, lawmakers at both the federal and state level. We speak directly to the regulators at the federal level. Of course, we've talked about the SEC. Uh, we've mentioned CFTC and Treasury, and we speak indirectly to these and more through our participation in organizations like the Digital Chamber of Commerce run by Perry Ann Boring and the, at the federal level, and the Texas Blockchain Council run by Lee Bratcher at the state level. And through these meetings and associations, we have the opportunity to provide feedback and input to frameworks that are being proposed at both federal and state level. And we've seen our input and contributions reflected in the policy proposals that are coming out of the regulatory agencies. And we also see our contributions shaping the proposed legislation from the lawmakers. So um, we have an impact and, and of course that's the goal. So uh, SEC of course is, is the most and, and the others I've mentioned are, are less than the SEC. So with the HBAR Foundation and Hedera's strong affiliation with a number of groups within the US, especially lawmakers within governmental bodies, this could lead to Hedera being one of few projects which strictly adheres to regulatory frameworks before regulation is officially rolled out. And this could lead to Hedera being one of few projects which evades the excessive fallout regulation will induce to the wider crypto market. With the potential for Hedera to comply with such regulatory frameworks, investors may see Hedera as a potential safe haven against the fallout regulation may induce to the overall crypto market, and this could lead to investors potentially FOMOing into the project. So the HBAR Foundation and Hedera's strong affiliation with lawmakers across the US could lead to both organisations playing a key role in regards to how regulation is rolled out across the wider crypto market within the US and potentially further afield. So as well as Hedera's potential links to the US government, the Internet of Things provider Phobi is set to partake in a project funded by the, by the Canadian government, where Phobi wins joint environmental contract for District of Muskoka to deliver AI-powered data solution analysing and tracking long-term water flow and climate change impact on watershed. So the project sees Phobi being directly used in the tracking of land use and natural capital changes in the Muskoka region. So the use of Phobi in this initiative will see the organisation being directly used for the tracking of natural assets within the Muskoka region. So the article continued 
With all levels of government looking to utilise new technologies that leverage data to better characterise, protect and manage natural assets and better serve their constituents, the firm believes Phobi AI capabilities provide a framework for, for further such government contract success in the future. So as mentioned, Phobi is an Internet of Things provider which sees the organisation directly store and integrate data sets in regards to natural assets within its platform. So Phobi may have been chosen for this initiative, most notably due to the network being highly scalable and also being highly secure. And this is all due to Phobi being directly built on top of the Hedera network. So Phobi may have chosen Hedera to base its platform on over other DLTs, namely due to the qualities and benefits attached to Hedera, where Hedera offers high degrees of scalability and is also highly secure, where Hedera offers asynchronous Byzantine fault tolerance, which is one of the highest degrees of security a network can provide outside of the Bitcoin network. So the highly secure nature surrounding Hedera and an extension Phobi will mean that data sets stored on Phobi, in this example, uh, information in regards to natural assets and resources, will be protected to a high degree. So as more actions actively arise on Phobi, there will be synonymous actions arising on Hedera, where the Hedera network and an extension HBAR tokens will be used to actively verify actions arising on Phobi. So, so increases in the usage of HBAR to verify such transactions will lead to increases to the demand for HBAR. And this will lead to sizable increases to the price of HBAR, especially over the long run. So the usage of the Hedera network by the likes of Phobi, as there are a growing list of entities and organisations which are turning to Hedera over other DLTs. And this is a growing trend, which may be due to, as mentioned, the innate qualities attached to Hedera, and also due to the esteemed companies associated with Hedera, where the likes of Google, Boeing and FPOS are all Hedera Governing Council members and they all actively use the Hedera Net for a number of use cases. So with more enterprises and organisations turning to Hedera over other DLTs, Hedera will continue to be the go-to platform for enterprise utility and the network will con continuing to be the go-to platform for overall utility for years to come. What are your thoughts on Hedera? Do you think Hedera will be safe against regulation? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching Crypto Clan! Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.